In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your business the talk of the town. And by the end of it, you're gonna learn how to turn your clients into super fans, which is gonna lead to tons of great referrals. But first, what's up everybody? My name is Mike Mack and I help everyday people build automated cleaning businesses. I am also the author, where'd you come from? Of the Amazon bestseller, Pick Up Cash, not trash. It's the ultimate guide to building an automated cleaning business and achieving financial freedom without getting dirty. Okay. And if you're a subscriber to this channel, I made it possible that you can click below this link and get your very own free copy. Just cover the shipping and we'll send it right over to you. But that's enough about me. Let's get right into things. All right, now I got a quick question for you. What if I told you that you could have a few dozen clients and they are all amazing to work with? And what if I told you of those amazing clients and half of them are so close to you that they actually enjoy the thought of you growing your business so much that they go out of their way to refer you to other high quality clients? Does that sound too good to be true? Well, it's not. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it right now. Okay, the first way to do this, to kind of like achieve super fandom from some of your clients, I'm serious, this is how you do it. The first thing you need to do is you need to establish communication. You see, business relationships are just like regular relationships. They rise and fall to the level of communication. In this industry, a lot of times you'll hear something like, no news is good news. Well, let me tell you something, that is absolutely terrible advice. People need to stop saying that immediately because no news, you would never say that about your partner, right? At least I hope not. I hope you don't have a life partner at home. It's like, hey, how's the wife? I don't know, I haven't heard from her. No news is good news. It's like, what kind of relationship is that, okay? No judgment, just saying. So listen, and it's the same thing with your business relationships. No news is good news, it's just terrible, terrible, terrible advice. So what we want on the other side is we want clear, open lines of communication. We also want to establish, as soon as we meet with this client, we wanna basically establish the difference between you know us and the quote unquote competition out there. And one of the ways we do that is since it is a big issue in this industry is like, hey, communication is gonna be very different. How, how can you guarantee that? Well, not only are we always gonna be available, we actually cater our communication around your needs and what you like to do as far as communication, what you don't like to do. What does that mean? Well, what that means is not everyone is going to want to write an email. Not everyone's going to want to do emails. And some people are too busy where they don't have the time to just call a cleaning company all day. So, you know, if you're somebody who likes, you know, maybe you're a bit old school, maybe you like the old pen and pad. Well, listen, we'll leave a logbook here and we can do things that way. We can have all of our communication go through there. We could have it go through the phone. We could have it go through email, however you want it. That's the way you're gonna get it. But the important thing is that we, both parties can get a hold of each other whenever we need to. And that, you know, the, the how is not important. It's just important that we can. Once you establish that, you are really establishing the fact that you're very different because you just made it clear that not only is it easy to get a hold of you, that you expect the same from them. Now, now this is going to set a different tone right out of the gate. Let's get to the next thing. Okay, the second thing you need to do to create like a raving fan base of clients is you need to have professionalism. Now, this isn't just with you. It doesn't matter how professional you are if your team just look, comes in looking out of sort and things like that. So it really is a team-wide thing, okay? This is like a company value that we want, you know? We want professionalism. You know, you can have a free and loose community like our, our team is very free, loose, fun, easygoing, but we also are very professional when it counts, okay? Especially in the beginning. I mean, you wanna keep this professional all the way through, but what I'm saying is you wanna be ultra, ultra on your toes and being because you're establishing a new relationship. And, you know, that means just having your crew dressed nice, dressed a certain way, you know? For some people, if they have long hair and a crazy beard, you would say like, hey, that's not a problem to have both of those things, but all we ask is that when you're at an account, like just keep the hair, you know, kind of, again, they don't have to get their hair done, but just kind of tie it so it's like, it's not crazy. Or you just don't look unkempt. That's the main thing, you know? Little things like that go a long way. And it also gives off an energy to your actual cleaners that, hey, you know, this is a tight ship, but not a ship that's like unfun to be a part of. It's just, hey, we gotta be professional. So that's very, very important. Okay, so the reason why this makes people kind of raving fans is because you're setting a tone. You're setting a tone that they are being taken care of by absolute professionals. That matters when they're sending over 
5,000, 10,000, even a thousand bucks. Let's go like to a smaller account. If you have a smaller account that's paying you a thousand bucks a month, you're setting a tone that like they hired the right people, okay? This has the makings of like people becoming super fans because not only are you gonna deliver a quality service, you know, that's a given. That's why I'm not mentioning that. But you guys are super professional as well. This makes them feel ultra confident that they hired the right team for their space. Now before we get into the last thing, because the last thing is juicy, the last thing is really good, but before we get to it, if you are enjoying this video and you're getting value from this channel, hit me with that thumbs up. I would appreciate you. Also, if you haven't already, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Let's get to the next thing right now. What is the third piece of this? How do we put this together, right? So there are a few other ways, but these are the three most important. Okay, now the tie-in, this is gonna take you levels above and that is thoughtfulness. What, how do we create super fans by being thoughtful? And what do you mean thoughtfulness? I'm gonna tell you right now, here's what I mean. When I say having thoughtfulness, this is going to add a human element to your business. You know, this separates a lot of people, right? Cause a lot of other companies, there's professional companies out there. And of course there's other companies that also communicate, but the thoughtfulness is gonna add a human element to this. Okay, because we're humans. We can only connect with other humans. We can't connect with businesses. I can't connect with a logo. I can't connect with cool uniforms. No, it, it's the people element. So the thoughtfulness starts all the way at the onboarding phase. And how could you be thoughtful when you're onboarding a new client? Well, the thing you can do is start with, you know, bring a fruit basket with like a handwritten note talking about that you're so happy they chose you and that you are going to spend the entire life of your time together, making sure that they are taken care of and making sure their space is the cleanest in the area. You know, nice little touches if they're a medical office. We're gonna see to it that this is the cleanest medical space in this entire area. You know, or be funny, you could say in the entire state, the entire world, you know what I'm saying. The point of it is, is it's short, it's heartfelt, and it sets a tone. Something like, you know, you can bring a box of chocolates or some nice chocolates for everyone in the office. Something like that. I mean, these things, go a really long way, but it's not just that. It's a step further, and I'm talking about where you don't have to spend any money to do this. Now, what I'm talking about is the person you deal with most, you know, and the person who actually signs the checks, find out their birthdays, even their anniversaries when you're just in conversation, figure out what their wedding anniversary is, and then you know what? Go home, put it in your calendar. So when one of those dates pops up on your calendar, you pick up the phone, not your team, you, you pick up the phone and you call. And let's say his name is Dr. Dan. Hey, Dr. Dan, how's it going? It's Mike from ABC Cleaning. Oh, hey Mike, how's it going, buddy? It's going great. Listen, how's the cleaning going in the space, right? Oh, cleaning going good, you know? Um, yeah, I'm very happy. No one said anything in the office, so it sounds like you guys are doing such a great job. Okay, cool, happy to hear that. Well, you know, if there's any change in that, you can always, you know, you can let me know and we'll take care of it. Oh, I know that, sounds good. So listen, Dr. Dan, I, I wanna actually get to the real reason why I'm calling. Oh, okay. Well, what's that? Well, I just wanted to say, you know, it's um, it's February 16th and, and I know this is a special day for you. You know, it's your anniversary. And I just wanted to say from uh, my team here, happy anniversary to you and your lovely wife. You know, I hope you have a wonderful day. And then at that point, Dr. Dan, what? Like, what are you gonna say? Of course, he's gonna say, whoa, thank you so much. Thank you for calling, you know, that's incredible. I really do appreciate you taking the time and you hang up the phone after that. And you know what? You're gonna make a huge impression on a client that you have already been treated well okay so this is what I'm saying with thoughtfulness do the same thing with birthday if your company is in a position like ours where you could actually send actual you know like a present you know a bottle of champagne some chocolates whatever your clients are into if you're able in that position do that but if you don't have the money yet and your your company isn't there there are no excuses you don't need money for this you don't need presents to come across as like caring okay these things help take you to another level. When you establish these things and you are in that place, then when you reach out to your clients, you can ask them for referrals. And guess what? They're gonna be happy to do it because they already like you. They care about you, all right? Because we can't help it for the people we like. We tend to care about them. So 
just like you and your client, you hope your client keeps succeeding because as long as they keep succeeding, your company's doing well, right? Because they're always gonna need your services. But next level, they're gonna feel the same for you. So when you pick up the phone and on a you know a random Tuesday, you get a hold of Dr. Dan, you're like, Dr. Dan, I'm really looking to bring on a few more clients this month. Do you have anybody you could recommend? Any any other doctors that would really benefit from our service? Now listen, something like in medical, of course Dr. Dan's gonna know other people. That's always the case and then guess what? Now you're asking someone where there's not only a great professional relationship, but there's also a nice personal relationship ruined there. Dr. Dan's not gonna have any problems speaking to anyone who will listen that you guys are crushing it and you're great people. And that's how it is. And you can do this with all of your clients and you can watch as your company starts growing at hyper speed. But again, this is all predicated on your clients loving you. If you're maybe in a position where you don't have clients yet or you're not sure how to get your current clients to love you. Now, to ensure that your clients love you or to get them to love you, you have to do the things that we just discussed. But without motivated cleaners, we're not gonna have happy clients no matter how thoughtful we are. So if you want to know how to motivate your team, you're gonna wanna watch this video right now. But if you wanna supercharge the growth of your business, if you'd like to start, grow, and automate your cleaning company, then you're gonna to wanna to watch this new masterclass I put together. Either way, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, Cub Scouts.